Breaking news, breaking news, breaking freaking news. I don't need to do an introduction for this. I'm just going to talk straight from the hip. Reported by Woj. He sent another Woj bomb today that Kenny Atkinson has turned down the Hornets job. I repeat, Kenny Atkinson has turned down the Hornets job. Wow, has anybody, has has any hired head coach has ever done this? I want to think. How many coaches have done this? And it, it's reported that Kenny Atkinson wants to be the lead assistant. He's comfortable with that. Uh, Hornet fans, I, all I have to say is, is this a terrible situation? It's embarrassing right now. But let's be honest. You're talking about a coach, Kenny Atkinson, and maybe he can grow as a coach, but he was below 500. He went to one playoff in the first round and got destroyed. That's about it. So the two finalists, as reported, is Terry Stotts, the former uh Blazers coach, uh, in my opinion, went to a lot of playoff games, but haven't really accomplished enough with Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. But with the Hornets, maybe the playoffs is just what they're looking for. It's really sad because the Hornets have a lot of potential to become a great team uh, because they have a franchise point guard, but they seem to not make the simplest moves. And then another finalist is Mike D'Antoni, who has an incredible record. The bad thing is, uh, besides the horrible defenses, that is, what, he's 71 years old. So how long is he going to coach? Now, does uh, Mike D'Antoni have a better record than Kenny Atkinson? By far. It's not even close. But in my opinion, if... The Hornets do not sign Mike D'Antoni. They're probably going to go with Terry Stotts. That's just my opinion. That's just the Hornets' way. They want to go cheap. They don't want to overspend. And and Hornets, I'm talking to the organization. If you want to be stuck in NBA purgatory and be stuck in mediocrity, go ahead. But if you think you're going to keep LaMelo Ball by making simplistic moves, you got another thing coming. If you think LaMelo's just going to accept uh, average play, average, uh, average organization making average moves, then don't be surprised. Now, as a fan of LaMelo, I've countlessly has pointed out that no matter what team he's on, I'll root for him. You ask any LaMelo fan, they'll tell you that. The, the stereotype is LaMelo fans just want him to go to L.A. and Yada, yada, yada. That's not necessarily true. They don't mind him going to L.A. But really, they don't mind him playing anywhere. Shoot, he could play at Toronto. And if he's built around a team and his skill set, nobody would complain. That's common sense. But you heard it first from Woj. The final two coaches, the finalists, is now Mike D'Antoni. And Terry Stotts, they got a serious decision to make. Now, in my opinion, I would have gone for Mark Jackson, but he's been blackballed by the NBA or a.k.a. whiteballed. We know what the deal with that is, but he's better than a lot of coaches out right now. He pretty much created that Warriors dynasty we're seeing now. Now, I know Shines won't give him credit, but people who actually watch basketball, that watch basketball, Throughout the years before Steph Curry became the Steph Curry we see and now, we saw the progression. The real ones know. But Charlotte Hornets, you have some moves to make, man. You got to get you a center. You got to get you some more length. Um, the Charlotte Hornets last season was short as hell. And that's why they were one of the worst defensive teams in the league. And y'all keep saying, not y'all, but other folks keep saying, oh, LaMelo needs to prove on defense and that. 
I get it. He's a young player. He's 20 years old, for crying out loud. But how about Terry Rozier? He doesn't want to play defense. All he wants to do is jack up shots. What about Gordon Hayward? When he, when he misses his first four shots, then he pouts around, have bad body language, and then don't want to get after it on defense. Yeah, I'm seeing it all. Let's talk about that. Instead of over critiquing a 20 year old who's still growing, who's the only all star on your damn team. They got me turned up this morning. But Charlotte Hornets, Michael Jordan, you thought that you could pull a fast one and get a coach who you could mold and get for the cheap in Kenny Atkinson, and you failed miserable. You thought you could pull that off. But that's the thing about karma. Karma creeps up at the most random time. And you know what I heard? Word on the street is the Hornets organization heard about this the last moment. Kenny Atkinson didn't even contact the Hornets. Talk about disrespectful. You think he would have done that with Mark Jackson? Not Mark Jackson, but Mark Cuban? You think he would have done that with Joe Lacob, Steve Kerr, you think he would have done that with uh, Pat Riley in the Heat? Nah, that was disrespectful. No matter what you think about Jordan, no owner deserves that. But M- Michael Jordan got his wake up call as owner, man. At the end of the day. No matter how rich you are, you're still a brother. And you see how they are. Wouldn't even give this brother a courtesy call. Give me a break. Just made a decision. Oh, I'm going to stay with the Hornets. The last minute. And now the Hornets are scrambling around to find a head coach. But the process is restarted. And if I was MJ, you got nothing to lose. Go get you Mark Jackson. I guarantee you, you get you Mark Jackson. Your chances of keeping LaMelo Ball increases tenfold. Ask anybody. But at overall, just get a good coach. Get a coach who has an above 500 record. Get a coach who's proven. And if you don't get a coach like that, get a coach who's a top assistant like Sam Cassell, who knows how to train point guards, who a lot of talent evaluators believe that will be a head, a great head coach when his time comes. Should have been a head coach a long time ago. Do something instead of sitting around. This is Raw Truth Media, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need, and I'm out.